else do you have? So what you take away as an investor are learning sessions. Now these learning sessions will be conducted exclusively for you by Samnidhi members and these sessions are going to be highly career oriented and also irrespective of what discipline you take, during these sessions you will be imparted financial know-how which every manager must possess. So besides that, if you are an analyst of Samnidhi, you will be trained by indubitably the best in the field and you will be and you will have the opportunity to interact with A-listers in the industry and on a one one-on-one -one basis, that too. Also, uh, as part of, uh, if you want to be like a board member like ourselves, you want to be on the Samnidhi board, you want to be a Samnidhi partner, you will have the once-in-a-lifetime chance of actually governing a firm while you are still in B-school. How many people get that? Also, uh, last but not the least, as part of Samnidhi's marketing team, you get to conduct a full-fledged marketing campaign for a fully established and burgeoning investment fund. So guys, um, ultimately, Samnidhi is an unparalleled learning experience and it is any MBA student's dream come true. So, um, you know, come aboard Samnidhi, come be the best that you can be. Now I'd like to call upon Aditi Matthew to talk to you about the organizational structure and what's in the work for the year ahead. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, since Samnidhi is structured as a formalized firm, this would be our organizational structure as you see on the board. Uh, we have 10 partners and an advisory board as Tarani had taken you through. We are headed by our chief executive officer and the board of members, which is the five of us. Functionally, we are divided into two teams, which is the investment and the review team. Each team consists of uh, analysts from the senior as well as the junior batches. These, these analysts are taken through the entire process on the, over the next year by the senior analysts who are taught with knowledge transfer ses sessions that happen with the juniors. You will be taught not only to read markets and balance sheets, but also to make, pres make presentations, projections, and real investments. Your year ahead at the firm would look something like this. We'd start off with our selection and orientation process, which is a formalized review, sorry, which is a formalized interview and selection process. This will be followed by, we're looking for about 20 analysts from the first year. So we will have um, co very combustive um, knowledge transfer sessions and um, to build up your subject matter ex expertise over the year. We'll end the year with the formal review process, which will form a large component as to who gets onto the board next year. It will also help you benchmark yourself against the other analysts selected on the team. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you our board and the contact members, contact details of all of us. Um, sir has already given you our names. Uh, you may contact us at any point with doubts or anything related to Samnidhi. Um, I would also like you to know that since Samnidhi is a learning, learning it has a learning objective and is a separate firm, you will be allowed to be part of the various committees as well as be a part of Samnidhi. Um, so we're looking forward to having an enriching and exciting year ahead with all of you. All the best and thank you. I know you all have had like too many discipline lectures since morning, I'm sorry to say that. But uh, well, with all that's happening in TAPME, you have a lot more to do with finance. Finance is really exciting at TAPME, especially with everything coming up, with Madhu sir, with the lab, with Samdi. I never thought that I would actually get real money, that also in a college, it doesn't happen anywhere. It's just at TAPME, especially the SMIC course. So I really want many of you guys to to at least start investing from now on because no one's ever retired a millionaire keeping their money in a savings bank account, right? So put in the money, we'll train you how to do it till your heartbeat moves up and down with the red and green of the markets every single day. So the, I, I hope by the end of the year, the opening bell would excite you more than anything else today. Thank you. Apologize for my stuff. <laughs>
So you saw the sparring in the morning between finance and marketing. Mm. That was all in good humor. We tried to work like a family. I'll just share with you how the whole idea of the Bloomberg Terminal came up. Me and Professor Gururaj Kedur had gone to Harvard a couple of years ago. So a day before we shifted to Harvard, we had a meeting with University of Connecticut officials. They were looking for a collaboration with us. So we took a cab and went to Connecticut. And uh, as we entered, we entered a room what looked like a mini stock market with scrollers and graphs and all that. So I asked Professor Chinmay, go, Chinmay, do you have a stock market attached or something? Because I'd never seen anything like that. He said, no, this is a finance lab. So I very knowledgeably nodded my head, oh, I see, and then walked off. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell happens in a finance lab. I mean, I only know a lab is where you put beakers and burets and pipettes and, uh, okay. Then we finished through the week-long training program in Harvard, came back. Just around that time, Madhu had joined. So I let him settle down for a few months and uh, told him, look, you know, I came across something like this. Have you come across? He said, yeah, it's called a trading lab. Can we do that? He said, yes. You know, Madhu's, uh, that'll be amazing. <laughs> and, uh, I said, okay, prepare a note. So Madhu came up with a half a page note, I remember. I told him, this is not a note. I need a comprehensive proposal. Give me a budget. I have no idea. I said, OK. He said, then he came back and said, it will cost us. His face was kind of sullen. RCN, it will cost 50 lakhs. I said, TK, prepare a complete. It took him some time. There was a lull. So I thought, OK, he lost interest. But I had the budget, so I could do it. Then he came back and said, there's a small change. <laughs> I asked him, I mean, that was like from 17 pages to 56 pages. He said, actually, the cost is 50 lakhs for the capital investment, the building infrastructure and all that. For Bloomberg terminals, it will cost you annual or annual cost of 50 lakhs. Mm, I said, that is some money. I told him, okay, then you tell me what I'm going to do with it. So he gave me a big rundown, which I very knowledgeably nodded my head. And said, yeah, very impressive. I didn't understand a word of what he said. <laughs> so I took it to the trust, and trust immediately said, yes, we should do this. Only thing is, at the time, Dr. Ranjan Pai, who's the youngest among the trustees, he's the one who's very innovative about education. He's got great vision about education in India. And unfortunately, he was in Singapore, so he's, the trust said, in principle, we agree, but wouldn't have a word with Ranjan. I said, sure. So I called Dr. Ranjan, and Ranjan said, I'm coming next Wednesday, why don't you meet me? So Madhu made his usual, it's an amazing experience presentation there, and, and Ranjan was quite impressed. But then, since I had already told him, yaar, ek crore mang raha hai, pata nahi yaar. This is, never we have invested in that kind of a thing. I don't know what's going to happen, but anyway, we'll try. So Madhu wanted to play a little safe. So he, was it writer? You came up with the alternative. Writer, which would cost us 20 lakhs. Am I right? 20 lakhs. So he said, um, we actually thought of Bloomberg, but then the cost is too high, so we're going for writers. So Ranjan asked, what is the cost difference? So I said, writers will cost you 20, Bloomberg will cost you 50 lakhs which is the one the best of the universities use in the world? I said, obviously, Bloomberg. Then go for Bloomberg. Why are you looking at writers? That's how we got the best lab in the country today. And <laughs> remember, our trust is willing to support us in every activity that will make us better and better and better. Resources are not a limiting factor if you want to do a good job. So again, I repeat what I told you in the morning, ask you will get, provided 
with details. Be convinced. Come on to that. Don't come and tell me I want to invite Salim Suleiman and Eminem and all that. No way. But if you tell me I want to invite Messi, I'll get you. But then you tell me what you're going to do with him. Like Rohan Manama, if you want him here again, I'll fly him down. But tell me what I'm going to do with him. There has to be a value addition to us. We have to learn something out of that, right? And then me and Madhu discussed further and we decided, I don't know, I mean, are you changing the name of uh, Smith to Samiti or something? There's a course called SMIC. Uh, that was a little radical course, which is there in other countries, but of a much, I would say, much safer course. But here we have gone completely radical. So those of you, I mean, the students said, if you get selected, so if you get selected, because there's a filtering process, this is not a course meant for everybody. So they have their own method of selecting. Once you get selected, you will be given 25,000 rupees cash. Okay? And this course is worth five credits, am I right? Four co. Why did you reduce that? <laughs> gun, gun should be a big. <laughs> okay. The blame is on marketing man. In this course, you get the money and you are allowed to invest. There are certain restrictions. You can't invest in commodities. You can't invest in land and such kind of things. You have to invest in stocks of uh, uh, listed companies. Some such conditions are there. 30% of the weightage of evaluation is with me. So how much money you give me back at the end of the course, on that basis, I give you marks. So if you Give me negative profit, you get minus something. Okay? That's only one part of it. I'll come to the second part later. Then the 70% weightage is for you're supposed to maintain a diary. It's played in groups. Groups of five, five. So you have 1,25,000 to play around with. And there in that diary, your understanding of financial concepts and how you applied it and what you learned and how you came out of the problems, how you solved it. All those things are tested. Now, for the real gun, if you lose money at the end of the course, that amount will be recovered from your security deposit. Welcome to SMIC, welcome to TAPNI, welcome to Finance Lab. <laughs>